how y'all doing? I'm here with my SR-72 Dark Star, and uh, I've refined it a bit. It's not perfect, but it's more refined than the other, and I've fixed the wobble. Uh, it's strayed pretty far away from the um, accuracy, and more of just a fun uh, little project of it. I tried to record this video already, but I did in audio-only mode like an idiot, but I realized that before I was like 15 minutes into the recording. Even though it's unregistered, I can't go 15 minutes. But I don't know why it's wobbling. I fixed that. And it shouldn't be happening. Why is this happening? I think we just have to speed up a bit. But the main wobble issue was coming from the rocket thrusters and the jet engines I had in this area and it caused some displacement so it was not cooperating uh, but this has a uh, VTOL which I know is not accurate but like I said I don't care and if we slow down here I'll land in what people like to call the moon area with my uh, VTOL And I'd say it's pretty smooth when you're here-ish. It's kind of like, uh, just idle, I'd say. Uh, ooh, that trim's active. It has, like, a trim with that propeller you can see there. Uh, hmm, some desert splotches in the moon area. But, uh, yeah, I'm just landing in the moon area. It can kind of go in the water. I don't know why I made it like that, but I guess it just can. Uh, I know it's not accurate, but the original body design was made a bit before the, um, the like, you know, all the advanced sci-fi images came out. And I just kind of wanted to have some fun with the designs they had in um, Top Gun. You know, the the dark star that Tom Cruise is that I can't remember if it's Tom Cruise in Top Gun, but that uh, the guy in Top Gun Maverick flew the uh, SR-72 to Mach 10. It's kind of based off that. I just kind of went for a cool design that I like. I don't know if I've already explain explained the print, but I don't care if I did or not. I'm going to say it anyways. This uh, print is because I'm going to call it my cat, even though it wasn't. My cat died, and I loved it very much, so I added this design on it. It had some... Uh, let me just land here. It had these, like, uh, weather analyzers I added on it. I, I don't know why. I just kind of want to add it. They're right there those parachutes. They just have a weather analyzer on the side of them. As you can see, I'll turn off the smoke on them. Let's see if we can get a good swoop in. Yeah, it just says weather analyzer. Some red shoots. They look pretty nice. Um, but yeah, this is not the, you know, this isn't at very advanced, if you know motor locking. This this is a motor lock creation, by the way. If you know how um, advanced usually motor and angle locking is. It doesn't use angle locking. I want it to for this dome area. I can't get it right, but I just like how it is. I seriously don't know if I've explained this or not, but I am planning on getting rid of this and, you know, cut chopping this off and using that as it, but probably not, because it could cause a wobble, but usually with motor 2's, which is what I'm using for the flaps, usually everybody does, I'm surprised they're standing up like this, because usually when I have a lot of speed, they tend to shriek and, not shriek, but just, like, swing everywhere like my mouse and stuff, so I'm glad they're not doing that, I lost my B200 on crap. But yeah, turning off the VTOL engines here. I don't know why it keeps wobbling. I fixed it. 
I do remember that I explained what the problem was. Because I've done it twice now. So, but yeah, swoop under here. And that's pretty much it. I have nothing else to say about this. The afterburners are nice, in my opinion. Uh, comment if you think I should add back the red, white, and blue uh, coloring. I'm going to keep it white and then just add some red and uh, blue as the stripes and stuff. I'm probably going to do a blue stripe down the middle and red stripes. Red mostly, and then a little bit of blue in other areas. Probably like a thing of blue back here, but I don't know. Anyways, have a good one. See ya.